We turn now to Cambodia, where New Zealand, where a New Zealander is among a group of 10 foreigners arrested for, and I quote, because it's a very uh, particular charge, singing and dancing pornographically. In recent years, there's been uh, growing outrage and police crackdown on tourists behaving inappropriately at the Angkor Temple complex and at other sites of great culture, cultural and religious significance in Cambodia. But this was a private party in a rented villa. The photos provided by police of the alleged activities also appear to show a group which does not include any of the 10 people who were arrested, which is peculiar. The New Zealander is 32-year-old Paul Martin Brash. His mum, Vicky Malden, told us he loves Cambodia and is culturally sensitive and highly respectful of the country and its people. I asked her when she last spoke to her son. The last call I had from Paul was at 12.58... 12.58, well, that's uh, nearly 1 o'clock in the morning, New Zealand time this morning. And how that's was he sounding? Uh, but he was pretty un inconsolable. I mean, he, he's he's a real... I mean, he can be a bit of a rebel, I suppose, but he's he's just a, he's just a guy. He, he loved Cambodia. He loved their culture. He loved the people. In fact, I was pretty sure I'd lost my son to Cambodia because he huh. loved it that much. So... Yeah. Uh, um, he he's just devastated. He can't believe what's happening. Um, they weren't um, disrespecting the morality of the Cambodians in any religion in anything. It was in a private residence. It was a ticket a ticketed event. The tickets were sold. There are about eighty to a hundred uh, yeah. tickets sold for the event. It was a type of pool party. Um, my son at the time before the, uh, what happened was the, they call them the morality police they they actually came in about 30 odd of them and came and just pretty much picked 10 out of the bunch well they, originally they, they arrested about 70 or 80 of them and then 10 was just hand picked out of the bunch so um, at, the, at that time my son was cooking sausages and steak on the barbecue so um, it's kind of weird the whole situation Yeah, it, it, we're trying to just make sense of it where is he being detained? Where are they keeping them? Um, well, they originally were detained for nearly three days at the Cambodia police station. They pretty much slept on the floor. Um, the police were very good to them. They gave them pizzas. They treated them well. They can't say that they weren't treated. They were treated badly. They um, and now last night, when the last time I was, I spoke to my son before his phone was taken from. In fact, all the phones were taken. Was. Uh, just about one o'clock in the morning, and then they were on their way to the Samrit Jail, all ten of them. I, I assume that the young ladies were taken to the female. I, I just don't know, John. I have no idea. So here. And you're just desperate yeah. to have them back? Oh, yes, we all are. I mean, that's, uh, a few of them are just children. Um, but, you know, um, um, they're just kids having fun. A couple of them were only on the OE. And they wanted to have fun. They wanted to do an OE and go and have fun and party it up and then get back and get back into their studies. But does not look like that's going to happen for them any time too soon. So that's our concern. We just want them out and sent back home. Are you, are you going to head over? Um, depending on the outcome in the next couple of days, John, um, that will be something that we are looking at, yeah. 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 There's not a lot we can do at this stage. The Cambodians might... Um, I don't know, they might do They might do something, they may deport them back to their countries, their respective countries, who knows, we're hoping that they will, but if um, this goes on for for longer than we thought, yeah, a few of us are going to go over there. That's Vicky Malden, the mother of the New Zealander being held in custody in Cambodia after a party at a private residence.